Hello everyone. This is the third part. On this video right now, we are going to look at how to answer your assignment given to you by the, your teacher. The last time we talked about how to read your messages, remember that? How to read your message and how to reply your messages. And then how, knowing that now, upcoming is not all the posts. Upcoming are the assignments and the quizzes that you need to answer. And each one of them has their due dates. In order to view all of them, just go to planner right here or you go to planner right here right and i remember that i taught you how to check your notifications right here you can go right here check your notification look at it so you have your notifications right here it says english has been graded that's the quiz we took the other time right can you still remember the quiz we took right now has been graded instant grading so that is that all right so you still have some notifications trying to tell you that do you do you okay so leave that alone for now go to planner here or go to planner here this we need to go there because that's where our assignments and quizzes are anything your teacher wants you to do are right there all right so now this is an assignment for instance now this is um, um one assignment it just says let's is now this is your teacher's assignment it says how plants grow what the video carefully so these are the instructions your teacher has given on to you and now in order to work with it you have to click on open two ways either you click on open or you just click on this like this did you see that now look at the difference if i click on open see where open takes us to directly do you did you see the difference okay let me go back to planner just watch it again this is the assignment we want to work on right yeah if i click on this on just the body it's going to take me here then it's now going to take me to open assignment did you see that now i'll go back again to planner so the best way to do it instead of you going two ways instead of clicking twice just go straight away to this place open straight away and you are into your assignment all right good now this is your assignment right here the due date is showing and the time is showing by your teacher and by your class you might have year one year year two year three year four so these are the instructions for your assignment all right good now um there's a video here a youtube video right here that your teacher gave to you to view uh think let me refresh that let's see so that the video can appear okay let me refresh that Okay, it's not really, there's supposed to be a thumbnail picture right there appearing. I think we saw it the other time, right? All right, anyway. Now, uh, this are the files that your teacher has given onto you. Oh, sorry, it's still loading, I think. I don't know why. Aha, that's it. Okay, it's loaded now. So this is a YouTube video because your teacher says here, watch the video carefully. Can you see that now? So probably you just have to click here and then you we watch the, the video. The okay. Okay. So you watch the video right here. All right. Good. Now, once you see this, this gray line, this gray line on a YouTube video shows that it has buffered up to this point, meaning that you can watch it up to this point without internet. Before your internet. So the more the video is playing, the more the gray line is going. See it? Can you see that? Let's put it right here. See? Can you see the gray? 
Now the T gray, this is that means it's buffering up to this point. Alright, so let me stop. Let me just pause the video. So it has buffered up to this point. Can you see it there? Okay. Now right here, uh these are the files your teacher has given unto you. There are two files here and there are two files here. Alright. Two files here or two files here. In fact, three files. One, two, three. That's PDF, PowerPoint, video, YouTube video, Word document, PowerPoint, P, PowerPoint, W, Word, PDF, PowerPoint, YouTube video. All right. So right now, if I click on this, okay, there's a drop down arrow right here. See it right here? You can download it or you can take it to add to backpack. This is your backpack right here. All right, so if you had it your backpack, that means it's inside your Edmodo account. Inside, you can always view it inside your Edmodo account. So let's say, for instance, I make it add to my backpack. See, it's right here. It was added to your backpack, meaning that I'm not, I don't want to go into. Okay, let me just go into your backpack. I'm going to right click. I'm going to do open in new tab for you to just see. What your backpack looks like okay while it is loading um, and then let's wait for it let's wait for it yeah this is it so this is your backpack teachers have it as their library but you have it as your backpack teachers have it as library which you as the student have it as backpack so you are storing your own inside your backpack Meaning that anytime you want to access it, just sign into your Edmodo account and you can access your file. All right. Okay. So there are two options for you here. You can either download it or add it to backpack. Backpack, as I've said, means that it's stored in your Edmodo account. Download means that it's going to be stored in your own computer. All right. Or the other option is this. Look at it. If you put your mouse over here. So if I click, okay, from here, if I go over here, I can click on download. And then see, it's downloading. Can you see that? It's downloading. And that's all. Or I can come over here and I click right here. And then, okay. So one downloads it down like this into your computer. The other opens it on the browser. Now, if the other opens it on the browser, you can still download it from this icon into your system. So if I click here again, see, it's still going to download, but it's going to be one that you can click on save. Okay, if you click on save right here, it's going to download to your system. I'm not going to do that. All right, so I'm going to close this right now. The second file also, let's look at the options given. We can download it again as usual. We can add it to backpack. Now, if I click here, on this right here it's gonna go down okay it's loading it's loading so that's why sometimes it might just be good for you to just download it and work on it from home take a picture once you're done solving it take a picture of it and upload it back to your teacher okay now let's it's still loading all right yeah so by continue i agree to microsoft terms so look at it now because you want to open remember that microsoft has microsoft powerpoint microsoft word microsoft excel microsoft access so now by continuing you agree to microsoft's term of use and private policy then click on continue so once you click on continue then you wait for it to load All right, so we're going to wait for it to load. Now, these are the two things you need to do to download. And this one is for you to you are viewing it. So when you click it from here, you're viewing it you can download it from here. When you click it from here, you can you're viewing it. When you click it from here, you're either downloading it or adding it to back park. So let's see right here. You say a big thank you. We wish you say okay whatever now this is it right here you can 
come over here you can download it again to your system okay uh, oh sorry no not that sorry now you can see star slideshow download those are the only three things well you that means you don't really need to view it from your system okay just download it basically just download it now i taught teachers about this and teachers that you still find this exp uh, uh very helpful remember i told you that this was just view only view only means that the child cannot edit it as you can see now from what we just did the child cannot edit the child can only view did you just notice that should i go there again uh, i should have i should not have closed it so you can see it very carefully this is now i'm pointing to teachers right now i'm pointing to teachers right now just can you see that there's download start download print but there's nothing like edit right nothing like edit right here so once the child clicks on start download uh, start slideshow it goes so you're just viewing it okay now this one right here if you look at this one right here there are options also for this download option for this download but you see what is written here your teacher created this file for you meaning that if i click on it wait for it just wait for it and you see the difference oh can you see the difference between so teachers now can you see the difference between when you choose to upload with view only this is view only it's a powerpoint file It's view only this is a powerpoint file also is view this is not view only okay remember what we used teachers this was not view only okay now but this was on view only the other one allows us to edit allows the child to edit directly online so now the child can now come in here that can come in here edit it edit it once the child has edited it i'm going to do a video on this on how to use powerpoint very soon so once the child has ed edited it you child has answered your question yes answered everything now is editing it directly from edmodo all right now look at it because the child the teacher created the the, the file for you it says what is programming and it puts your name there this is the name of the child so any child that is right here is going to take, choose the name for the child so all the child needs to do is to once the child is done look at this the option right here if the child is done the child does not need to rename so teachers can instruct their kids not to rename so kids do not rename why because it is already named for you with your name right here so the teacher once you submit it teachers know that you've submitted it with your name so don't rename it kids don't rename it then you can download it once you're done let's say you does if you want to have it as a copy look at it if you want to have it as a copy for yourself in your computer download it as a copy if you want to download it as pdf and you want to download as an open document file this is an open document file open document file is an xml file i don't want to go into details of that but anyway these are the two major ones you need so you can download as a copy once you're done and you can download as pdf so once you are done actually that means the one your teacher sent to you are of two types there is one in which it was only view only this other one is an editable version for you so when the teacher sends you view only it aligns in this part here when the teacher sends you the editable ones it aligns right here okay so from there you can actually know that this one means that you are only to download it and answer the questions Take the pictures after you've answered the question or maybe scan it and then send it back to your teacher but this one right here means that once you click on it from here 
from here and it takes you to this that means that your teacher is trying to tell you that answer it directly in the program once you're done answering your question i'm going to teach you how to use powerpoint on this don't worry once you're done with this sorry i deleted all the stands once you're done with this you've done editing it once you've done editing it now there is no save button do you know why because it is automatically saved in here if you do something right here look at this if i put my space in watch something watch some see saving can you see that saving and then saved we are automatically saving your changes so all you just need to do is to just click once you're done just click on what turn in that's all so once your teacher gives you a word document or a PowerPoint document that he wants you to edit, you're going to see it and then you can then turn it in. Are you ready to turn in your assignment? Are you ready to turn in your assignment? Now, of course, you cannot turn in everything yet because if I click on turn in this one, okay, we submit assignment, work submitted. You will let your teacher know that you've submitted this one. All right, so uh, you can send a comment to your teacher. Look at this. You can come over here, then you can add your comment. Hi, Mr. Shergun. I am done. right now the other ones you can then attach a file can you see this you can attach a file so click on that maybe you're done with the assignment and you've saved it maybe you've saved it in documents maybe you saved it in downloads you're done you saved it in desktop let's say you saved it in downloads and uh, you can just pick on it and then you Click on open. Did you see that? Now make sure that you notice the check mark. Check mark. Can you see the check mark there? That means you're done. All right. So before you do, before you go, you can resubmit your assignment again. That means that if you click on resubmit your assignment, that means you want to like you're not done yet. Remember the other time we clicked on turning. We're not meant to click on turning at that time because we're not done yet. Because there were two files here. Remember that, right? There were two files here. So once you click on resubmit assignment, which was right here, that means that we can then use this one. I'm not gonna click, I'm gonna I'm not gonna open this one right now. No, I'm not gonna open this. But this, if you open it, it's just gonna take you to Word document, just like the PowerPoint document, whereby you can edit it as you edited this PowerPoint. You can edit the worksheet. Let's say your teacher has sent you a worksheet on Microsoft Word. You can edit it easily. Let's say your teacher has sent you a document on uh, PowerPoint. You can edit it easily because your teacher has sent it in a format that once you see this, your teacher created this file for you. Just know that you can edit it yourself. Okay, just as we did the PowerPoint right now. Once you see this, but once it's like this, just know that you just you just only have the liberty to either download it or view it. That's all. That's what. So once you're done with your assignment, this is where you. So you can. We've already attached. Anyway, we've attached. We've attached from here. All right. So now you can click on turn in assignment documents not edited make sure you have edited all documents to Charles. okay can you see do you know why i did not accept it do you know why it's telling me documents not edited you know why why because this one i've not edited this one so it needs to be sure that these two things has to be edited it has to be edited 
once as i've told you once you see your teacher created this file for you it means that you can edit it directly on that so this is the word document but i'm not going to go into this right now that's that so let me just click on so i'm just going to assume that i have done it i'm going to click on turning okay now because i have opened this so now it says are you ready to turn in i can now click on turn in and then it's gone all right it is what gone so the teacher is going to receive this it's going to receive that so let's go back to home now now can you see it's no longer in your upcoming it is no longer in your upcoming. Why is it no longer in your upcoming? Because you submitted and you now have a new notification. The notification now tells you that you have... Look at it. Where is it? Yeah. Graded. Done. You've done this. This is what you've just done. Okay, you've done it. Now, once you've done your assignment i think we're done for this lesson thank you very much if you find it kind of tedious you can go back again all right if you've not understood the concept go back again and then check it out i'm going to explain more in the next lesson bye for now bye